Now, when you consider how rusty this chassis was before we started this laser cleaning process, I'm actually very impressed. You can see areas like this where it's lovely and smooth. And in fact, the surface of the metal has got this kind of bluey, strawy colouring where it's been slightly heated up just on that surface. Yeah, this bit here is like brand new. Look at this. I mean, there is the blue, blue tinge there. But this bit here looks like brand new. Which is great. Unfortunately, the whole chassis isn't quite as good as that. Like, for example, down here, where we've got the cross member going, obviously lots and lots of mud and water has got to collect there. And you can see it was quite badly rusted. But now the rust has sort of been removed, but then it's almost as if it's been polished a little bit. So that's actually probably quite serviceable. Unfortunately, there are other areas which need a lot more work. Now, we already know that there was quite a lot of damage around here thanks to the rust. That will definitely have to be cut out and repaired. Well, that's and pretty bad. Look at that. It's, yeah, it's sure, but we can just fix it. And then here is even worse, actually. If you put your finger in, you can actually feel where the metal is so rusty, it's actually blown inside. There's obviously a number of layers and this, to make this it This is strong. quite a fundamental part. It obviously, is. Obviously, holds the uh, top of the spring. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna have to definitely fix that, but it can be fixed. Around the back here is a little bit harder. So again, the laser's had a really good job of getting rid of all that horrible surface rust. It's even got quite a long way in, but obviously where there are huge gaping holes, clearly that's nothing that we can do all, with that. And look, I'm just looking up here. It's all gone up here as well. Yeah, so it's all going to have to be replaced. And this, isn't is, it? this is, yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm not being funny, but I retire soon. I don't know whether I've got enough time left to fix this. <laughs> I'm not saying it can't be repaired. Right. It definitely can be repaired. So come on then, Paul, what are you actually saying? Well, after looking at this, there's so much rust on here, I think we should source a replacement galvanised chassis. By doing that, we could spend more time on the actual build than flapping around with this rust. That is very, very true. So it would seem that Paul wants to go new and shiny, but I do think we should honour our promise to John and actually spend the time and the effort trying to get this thing up to scratch. After all, it's only going to take another couple of hours, maybe weeks or perhaps months. But either way, we do have a bit of a dilemma. So I guess the decision is going to be up to you guys at home. So really, either we spend weeks and weeks contriving all kinds of interesting ways to get this chassis up to snuff so we can start bolting some new things onto it, or we just give up and scrap it. And you can vote by either using hashtag scrap or hashtag fix in the comments below. What you got there? Well, it's actually an axle of a children's car. Oh, your daily driver. Brilliant. So what are we do with that? Well, I thought now we've finished doing the chassis, we could actually do something that's actually worth doing. <laughs> All right, why not? Thanks for stopping by the workshop. If you enjoyed the video even just a little bit, then click like. If you hated it, well then click like three times. Also, remember to leave your thoughts and your questions in the comments. And obviously, we'd love to see you again soon, so please remember to click subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell for notifications of when the next video is published, or when I have some intriguing news.